Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid. So, yeah, the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. We're just going to get one of these and see what comes up. This is the deck that I created. Um, yeah, so let's see what we have. I'm just going to get one of these, maybe, maybe two. We'll see. Taurus. Well, we are in Taurus season, so Taurus is very steady, very uh, slow-moving, bullheaded, um, very fertile. So it is definitely a very fertile time. Uh, let's get another card. Something about Taurus. We are in Taurus season. It is a time of growth. Replace your fear with faith. If you are, you know, replace your fear with faith. And if you are a Taurus, you may specifically need to replace your fear with faith. Um, maybe you need to do something and you need to go slow. Um, because Tauruses move slow. I, I know all about them. Um, very down to earth and laid back. I feel like this is a time of uh, receiving something because it's all about stability and security and hard work paying off. Very beautiful energy as well. Taurus is ruled by Venus. So we have, it is as a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. Um, Cultivation, perhaps. Um, well, maybe cultivation isn't the right word. Incubation. Um, seeds being planted in some way. Not cultivation. That's when you sow. That's when you, uh, you know. I don't work in the fields. So, <laughs> obviously, that's the truth. I don't work in the fields. It's where you, uh, cultivation is when you harvest the crops, right? There you go. This is a time of birth, right? It's a time of birth. Replace your fear with faith. What do we have for an energy here? Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords is the truth. It is the raw truth. It's the sword of communication. It's the sword of power, clarity, making a decision. So somebody needs to make a decision. They need to be honest with themselves. They need to be truthful with themselves. Somebody has the power right in their hands. Ace of Wands, two aces, unbelievable. Oh boy. So this is a new spark, a new flame. Um, this is exciting. We have a new beginning here with these ones. Ones are new beginnings. This is uh, manifestation, instant manifestation. It, it's something to do with um, a Taurus or Taurus season. It is, it's a, it is a time of birth it is a time of birth this is the birth of something new especially if you are a taurus you're going to have to replace your fear with faith if you are dealing with a taurus your taurus may need to replace their fear with faith we definitely have a very stubborn bullheaded individual here who um, is in a position of power there is going to be some sort of communication this is communication this is growth so this is a new flame, it is a new spark, a sudden desire. Um, this is communicating with something exciting. This is a clean slate. Just go for it with faith. Have no fear. This is just do it. Just do it. Just go for it. You know? scaring me um oh, 
And it is scary. It is scary. Anyhow, new beginnings, a new idea, taking a new approach. A lot of passion here. There's something very passionate that is about to happen. Justice. Justice. This is a rebalancing of the scales. Truth, again, integrity. Everything turning out as it should. This is a fair and just decision that is being made. And I, and I saw a decision with this card. We have somebody here that is about to make a decision based on the truth, based on the facts. This is a wake-up call of some sort. Some sort of truth is being realized. This could be an epiphany. There's some sort of spark or a sudden desire. Truth is coming out. Some sort of truth is coming out. Final decision. A final decision. You need to make a decision. A decision needs to be made. Something has come to fruition. It's obviously time for a new beginning because ones are new beginnings. Somebody has manifested something. This is something going in your favor when you get justice upright. Somebody is about to receive something that they deserve. They're about to get something that they deserve. Seven of Pentacles. Now this is this is we have a rose bush here. You know, every rose has its thorn. There's a chance that you could get hurt. There is definitely a chance that you could get hurt. I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, very bullheaded, that is stubborn and reserved because Tauruses are very reserved. And this person is thinking about investing in something. It probably is romance. Because roses are a symbol of love and romance. They're, they're, or they're, and this is a thought as well. So we have somebody here that is uh, thinking about taking action. Because Ace, Ace of Wands is action. They're thinking about something passionate. They're thinking about a new beginning. They're thinking about investing in something. But they could get hurt if they do. And there is a need to replace your fear with faith and just do it. Just do it. Have faith that everything is going to turn out as it should. Oh, we got two. Temperance and the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is liberation, it is freedom, it is the end of a painful situation, it is, it's over. The worst is over. We have a spiritual blessing here. We see the rainbow. This is the, the storm is over. The worst is over. This is a healing energy. Um, this is exchanging something for something better. There's probably some intimacy here as well. Somebody is going to be developing, I feel like, an intimate connection with somebody after they have been through a painful experience. This is a very healing energy. So, let's just put them down. This is a purpose. Everything happens for a purpose. Accepting and allowing. This is a change. We have a change here. Somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve. There is a rebalancing. And these are both about harmony. Being in balance and harmony. So I feel like there's some sort of harmony that is coming. This is a justified. Okay, Somebody's about to get the justice that they deserve for the pain that they have been through. They've obviously been through pain because they're scared. It's interesting that I said that I'm scared. I'm scared of getting hurt. 
you know, getting poked, getting picked, you know, that, who wants to get hurt? It looks good, right? So I do believe there's a new spark, there's a new flame, there's a new desire, there's a sudden attraction, um, or there's something that could grow into uh, obviously a new beginning. But fear is in the way. Fear is in the way of this opportunity. Fear of getting hurt. So there's a need to replace that fear with faith and just do it. Don't let the pain of the past, this is healing from the past. Don't let the pain that just about killed you hold you back. Everything happens for a purpose. Everything happens for a reason. Take a risk. You're going to be receiving something better. This is something better. This is a renewal after death. Something has ended painfully, which has caused this fear, which has caused pain, which has caused somebody to probably procrastinate because that's what Tauruses do, okay? Tauruses tend to protect themselves and stand back and do nothing and wait and wait and wait and wait until somebody you know pushes them over the edge so anyhow I do believe that we have a, some sort of renewal here or rebirth or new opportunity that is very desirable that is coming in this is something that is clearly desirable it is it's like I really want it that's something of value right there I really really want it but to get it you know if I go for it I could definitely get hurt so, and there is pain. And we got somebody here that is, and you notice the pain is, is right here. The pain is still there, okay? It's, it's here. It's there. It's not gone yet, or it wouldn't be in this reading. Obviously, the pain is still there. But there is a healing, and now we have a renewal. Somebody's about to get the justice that they deserve for the pain that they endured. It feels like they've been patient. They've been waiting, you know? They've obviously been cut because we see the blood. Somebody has been cut. They've been, they've bled. They've hurt. They've been through a painful situation. This is the past. And now it's time to replace the fear with faith and accept and allow that something better, there, it happened for a reason. Now you're going to get what you deserve, which is even better than what you had before. But you might have to face your fears and and. and Take a risk of getting hurt. We do have somebody here that is going to be presented with an opportunity. This is exciting. This is something that they manifested with these ones. There could be a new sexual partner here or any kind of new partner. Whatever this is, this is a new exciting opportunity. It's a new idea. It's taking a new approach. It's uh, taking a risk, uh, looking at a di different perspective, needing to look at things from a different perspective. Make a decision. To accept somebody's gonna receive an offer or an invite and they should accept four of swords reverse there's been pain there's been suffering there's been uh, emptiness somebody's felt empty inside but it's time to live right
time to get up and do something. We have a new drive here as well. Somebody is a new vision. And so this is like, get up, get out of that bed, let go of your fears. You see the fears are under the bed. Swallow the fears, throw the fears away, get rid of the fears. We have a change for the better here. Somebody has been haunted by the pain of the past. They've allowed it. They've allowed themselves to be haunted from the pain of the past. And I feel like they've restricted themselves because of fear as to whether they wanted to uh, invest in anything new. But now I feel like there's an opportunity that is right here. It is right, 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 right here. It is. I feel like somebody is going to be invited. I don't know if it's like, I feel like we have an invitation here where somebody's going to be invited. I don't know if it's to go out to dinner or, or go have a drink or something like that. And a decision is going to have to be made. To let go of your fears and just go out and, and have fun. King of Cups. Yes, sir. Okay. So the King of Cups, that is somebody with good intentions, that is looking for love, that is emotionally available. This is somebody that it has, uh, that is very charming, that has a big heart, that is very romantic, that is going to be making some sort of loving offer towards an individual that they feel some sort of connection towards. All done waiting, all done suffering. I feel like this person is ready for a change. They're ready for uh, to get together for, with somebody. And they're going to be extending an invite. I do see an invitation here. Ooh, chariot reverse. So the chariot reversed is lack of control, emotions all over the place. And and somebody's emotions are all, all over the place. And they're gonna need somebody needs to to manage their emotions. With the temperance cards, that's about managing emotions. This is emotions, and this is emotions all over the place. We have somebody here that is feeling all scattered, right? They're all they're, they have scattered. Their emotions are all over the place. It's like they can't master their emotions, and they need to master their emotions. I also see drinking here, so I'm going to change the story because this is for somebody else. I feel like we have somebody that is because this is this is a moderation is needed. This is drinking. This is car issues, you know, or it could be something coming to a stop. It could be an accident. Somebody getting pulled over. If we may have somebody here that is drinking and driving, because both of these could be drinking and driving, and this is justice. That's the law getting involved. Somebody could end up going to jail. They could. Somebody could end up even worse because this is the death of a situation. So that's somebody else's story. I feel like we have somebody that is, they could be going overboard and I don't know whose story that is. Somebody could be going overboard and they could be getting themselves into some trouble because of that justice card with the chariot reverse. That is somebody that doesn't have any discipline perhaps, that is out of control, that is, getting behind the wheel when they shouldn't be. We may have somebody here that is unhealthy. I mean, I am just being honest with you. With the Four of Swords reversed and the Ten of Swords here, I'm not sure. We could have somebody that has some mental health issues that is out of control, okay? This person is reacting to their feelings and they end up 
uh, I don't know, hopefully they don't end up hurting somebody. Um, but they could end up in court. They could end up in jail. The law could get involved. There could be some legal issues here. You know, there's always two sides to a situation when you get the justice card. We've talked about this multiple times in my readings. There's two sides to a situation with the justice card. Okay, there is. On one hand, I feel like we have somebody here that is getting themselves into uh, a new uh, situation, okay? And they need to replace their fear with faith and let that previous pain go. Okay, this is an exciting opportunity to start over. This is a new flame. It's a new match. It's a better match. Okay, it is a better match. Okay, there's your match. And this is your better match. Okay, this is a better match. It is. So somebody's going to be getting together with a better match. But on the other hand, on the other side of the karma, okay, because we got karma, the other person is uh, maybe in their emotions because things aren't going in their direction. And they could be going overboard and they could be getting themselves into some legal trouble. Okay? Anyhow, I do believe that... Uh, We also have some health issues here. Somebody needs, they need help, they need rehab, they need um, emotional support, they may need to go to the hospital or the doctors for healing. Somebody needs to uh, wake up, okay? They need to wake up, they need to uh, feel like they need to go get help and stop being so stubborn. There's a lot of stubbornness here. Especially when you get the Taurus card because Tor Taurus is the most stubborn sign in the Zodiac. And I can say that because I'm authentic. So anyhow, I do believe we have a couple of stories here. It's, it's time to take action because the Ace of Wands is take action. It's, time, it's a time of healing, however you look at it. Whether somebody ends up in jail, or they end up in the hospital, or they end up in a new partnership, it's time to heal. Good luck.